Now you think of a quick, easy pasta, you think tomato sauce, but not me. I love a rich, creamy, eggy carbonara. This pasta is almost done. Carbonara, five simple ingredients. First one, guanciale. Low to medium heat. I don't want to cook it too much. I want to render. I want that fat to release from the meat. I can smell it already. You can use double smoked bacon. You can use a pancetta, traditionally guanciale. We have this beautiful layer of fat, which will add to the sauce. With a little bit of meat, and then a fair amount of black pepper. Next important ingredient, and most importantly, is our eggs. Just gonna separate the whites from the yolks. You can use the whole egg, but like most chefs, we think about presentation. So I'm gonna add that yolk later on as a garnish. Also, possibly my favorite ingredient, is the cheese. We have a pecorino. So this is a sheep's milk cheese from Italy. It's sharp, it's tangy, a little bit of sweetness. So adding a fair amount. Again, this was the most fatty part of the sauce at this point, before the guanciale. Just whisking the whites with the pecorino, that's gonna be the base of our sauce. And the fattiness and that protein is gonna really stick to the noodles. So I have to combine them. She's done. So just like if you were emulsifying, you don't wanna to add too much heat to a protein. I don't want scrambled eggs this time. Add a slow amount, give a nice little toss. Adding the rest. And you see that delicious goodness dripping off of those noodles? That pasta water, is that secret ingredient. It's really gonna bind the eggs and the cheese and the noodles to create that beautiful sauce. You can smell that guanciale over there. So we have that beautiful separation of the pork fat from the bits. See that beautiful little pool there? It's gonna bind with that pasta water and the cheese and the egg. And then the bonus part, those little crispy bits. It's so a nice, easy way for plating. Using a, the flat of a spoon, kind of go against. Get your portion and start spinning. Using that flat edge of it, there you go. Keep spinning, drop it down, get a little bit of a pasta tower. Presentation's always important. I like to add a little bit more cheese. I'm pretty sure you saw how excited I was about this pecorino. On top, and really just smell that guanciale coming through. You smell a little bit of fattiness and richness. I'm gonna try it. Again, make sure you're stirring in that yolk. Because we separate it, you wanna make sure that it coats your noodles. That's what makes this dish so luscious. And we'll pass the twirl. Guys, you have to try this. If I had to describe the carbonara dish, I would say, creamy from that cured meat. It has a little bit of that briny saltiness, as well as that fresh sheepy salty from the pecorino. And even with the texture, with that little crunchy 
Clenchali bits. Overall, it's just delicious because it has everything I look for.